What's up, everyone? Welcome to this week's episode of Talking Bull. I'm one of your hosts, Anthony, along with my co-host, Nick. Hi. We are here to bring you our Nerdly News Weekly Rundown, as well as our main topic for the week. This week, we'll be diving into Doctor Who, talking about the season that just ended, what we thought, and uh, where it's going, and who we think is going to be the Doctor, it's and where they're season. going. Yeah, it pretty was. good season. I good like season. it. I um, okay, so... Some housekeeping. Yeah. Right away, I will not be here next week. Nope. I am going out of town on Monday, and I'm gone until sometimes the following sometime the following Sunday. So, yeah. um, there might not be a podcast filmed on Friday. We're seeing. We're looking I, into I'm, doing. I'm working something. on something. So we, yeah, we may have one. If not, we may not have one. Um, also, this week is uh, Spider Man Homecoming was released. And due to, due to me be going away, <laughs> I have to work this weekend. So, um, if we do, I have won't be a seeing react, the film this week. <laughs> it'll be uh, very late. Yeah. So, if you, we will see the movie at some point. If you would like our opinion on the matter, we can either just throw it in as a quick topic on the podcast, or we could do a full react. Mm -hmm. uh, we will post it to our various social medias, and you guys can. Tell us what you want, and we'll pretend like you're listening, and we'll uh, decide <laughs> then. <laughs> so, yeah, that's 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 all the housekeeping we got. Uh, actually, um, I we we've kind of discussed this the other day. Um, we may be launching a full on let's play channel where myself and Nick both post long form of let's plays as well either separate or together and then maybe take the bits from that and do it as our let's plays but I know going forward I will be posting long form let's plays on a different channel uh, probably under talking bull games um, even already the, creating a whole second channel. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Initially said we didn't want to do that. Want to do that, but I it think just like, <laughs> just like for long form let's plays, it just seems like instead of inundating our main channel with a shit ton of long ass let's plays, especially when it becomes repetitive. Yeah, it does. Yeah, very quickly. So we think maybe cutting That's out why we bits and cut, pieces, like posting this full. Yeah, because it was just it was two parts unnecessary. It was, full, it was a space, whole second, yeah. whole third video of the same same shit we felt bad for youtube taking up all their space oh yeah that's so, yeah. yeah that was it they were like uh, you guys are <laughs> taking up so much space you got to cut back your videos yeah and, and then we're like you noticed us youtube oh yeah they did when we posted that video that we shouldn't have <laughs> oh, that was, yeah <laughs> when we got our first infraction <laughs> copyright <laughs> it was a great day but uh, yeah so that was our little bit of housekeeping we're gonna jump right now down into the rundown of the news and uh Boy, do we have some Boy, news for was you. it a fucking empty week. We, it's it's going to get... I think next week... Next week we'll have news. Like, well, well, they've already started no, no, leaking. No, no. It, next week we won't have well, a show. We won't have comedy <laughs> shows. So. Next week the week, week after, we will have, this podcast is going to be like three hours long. I think yeah, I just next said, week I think we won't I just have said a show. So you did say pod ass. Pod ass. Huh. Next week we this won't have a show. This thing is a podcast show, of but, ass. So. Um, in two weeks, when we do it again... what's What is that? That is... Uh, the week of con. Yeah, yeah, on the twenty first. Yeah, con would have started on the Thursday. So, so we will have tons we'll have of leaks definitely. before leading into that. Leaks, leaks are great. I love leaks. It helps us out so much, mm -hmm. especially because we record on Friday and things happen on Saturday. But it's leaked Tuesday. It's great. Yeah, stuff. the big stuff. On yeah, it's Saturday. big stuff. Like that's the big show. Yeah. Uh, so I've been trying to get this so that when we do the rundown, it's a little structured. So we stay within movies. We stay within games. Uh, let's see how well we do that today. Okay, so what are you starting I, I'm going to start off with games because there's always game news, and that fills up a good chunk. Um, so going with the continuing trend of everything that's announced is automatically delayed. Uh, Players Unknown's Battlegrounds final release out of its early access has been delayed. Of um, course. Yeah. It was originally scheduled for within six months of launch with its in, out of its early release. It is now still scheduled to arrive at the end of the year, but just a little bit later when they initially announced it. Now, it didn't say whether or not that affected the Xbox version, but that was at least for the PC version. So I'm guessing they maybe want to coincide the things together yeah. when they launch them. Um, Makes sense. I don't know if anyone's awesome. ever watched footage of this game, but it looks like shit, and I don't understand how it's getting a full release. Um, 
What else we got? Uh, Shadow of Mordor, just a little update on that game. It lets you now import your arch nemesis and loyal followers from Shadow of War. Or to Shadow of War, sorry. The other one was called... Uh... This game has a weird title. It screws me up every time. Because it's not Lord of the Rings. It's Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> but it, it, it allows you, know you to... update. that the... That's a reference. To yeah, Lord that's the, the yeah. They can't use the Lord of the Rings name, or they have to pay for it. Oh yeah. Yeah, so they just called it Middle Earth because it's cheaper, I guess, uh, because of the rights between uh, I think New Line and Token does the franchise. Oh. The movie rights and shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, I remember reading about that a while ago. So, uh, you can if you have a nemesis in that game that always haunted you or whatever, and now we updated in a new game so he can fight you some more. Uh, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh. I never finished that game, so I hope to jump in, finish it, and then do it. I think I'm on the last mission anyway, so I might as well just finish it off at some point. Um, Pokemon Go. We covered news a while back about them having uh, big updates. It's now in its one-year anniversary event. Uh, stuff is cheaper. They're I saw having, that last night. Yeah, stuff's cheaper. They're having like random events here and there, kind of like big events that you can go to and stuff like that. I think like in Chicago and places. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought it was cool because you can catch Pikachu with a hat. Yep. And it's Ash's him, hat from the anime. Night. I caught another one later on. Oh, did you? So if you've ever wanted Pikachu wearing a baseball cap, that's Ash Ketchum from the TV show. Now is, is the it time to... or Ketchum? Ke it's Ketchum. Ketchum. Ketchum, not Ketchum. Like, like Ketchum. Yeah. Like Ketchum. All. Yeah. Yeah. Like catch them all yeah. catch them except this kid has caught maybe 40 pokemon throughout the entire anime series oh, yeah. that's he's, been on for 20 years yeah he is the good... worst pokemon master ever yes like just fucking god awful oh yeah <laughs> but uh yeah so if you want to catch pikachu in a hat go do it i turned the game on to catch pikachu in a hat yeah and before that i turned it on when they had that fire one so i could catch charmander and i did so i was happy <laughs> now i have all three base stars from the mm -hmm. original <laughs> Um, Crash Bandicoot, uh, the trilogy came out last week. Bando. You can go to, you, yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. That was his p response to the video I posted, uh, which you can go on to, um, youtube.com slash talking bull. And you can see all three let's plays I did. Uh, if they sound terrible, it's because they are. I did them at midnight going we into 3 a.m. that part real low. Real, real low. <laughs> real low. Uh, I'm actually... <laughs> see, well, my plan was to shoot more Let's Plays for this, but it would be just be me playing the same fucking level because these games are fucking astronomically hard. That's what everyone's saying, yeah. Dear And that's what God. I hear you cursing for, like, hours. Whole, <laughs> I almost ripped my controller in half. I've been there. I've been like, there. You, you know what, oh though? Oh, like, my God. I was thinking about this the other day. I forget who I was talking to. But, um, how did, oh, I, anyways, one of the guys from work. Yeah. And, um, we were talking about gaming and shit and like, I don't get mad too often, Yeah, you know, but give me five minutes with like injustice a few weeks ago. Oh yeah. I remember that. Right. Yeah. Just give me five minutes to play injustice and man, will I fucking boil internally and I swear like I'm going to get an aneurysm. Like yeah. my brain is just going to fucking explode because I'm just going to... And like, yeah, that controller just Why starts to... Why do you have so much stuff? That controller... <laughs> yeah, that controller just fucking starts to snap in your hand. I threw this thing right here. It's, it's, I threw it, knocked over all his Funko Pop figures that he had on a shelf behind the camera there. I should mention it's a five-foot shelf. I threw it so hard that it bounced back at me, though. Yeah. So he gets up, fixes all the Funkos. Like 20, 30 seconds later, I get, I chuck it again. I smack his like fan that's he over in the, the corner. He knocked the fan over. Knocked it down. He's like, why do you keep hitting my stuff? I'm like, why is all your fucking stuff in the living room? <laughs> My response, I live here. <laughs> I have a lot of shit. But yeah, like five minutes with that game or any game, any yeah. video game. Give me fucking five minutes of something not going the way I want it to go. I'm fucking done. <laughs> See, where I fall into that is as long as I know it's me doing it, I'm okay. If it's the fucking game fucking me yeah, up, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, where I yeah, lose like my usually shit. Usually it would take longer than five minutes because yeah. then you know like... There's something else here. Like, yeah. why isn't this fucking work? Well, that's the thing. In Crash, that actually is a story I did not put down, but I'm going to talk about it now. Crash, Crash is hard for a reason. Yeah, because of the round. The, the way they... Yeah, there, there's this... 
Uh, I'll see if I can find it and post it over here. I'm backwards. Right there. Uh, there's an image going around. Right there. And uh, when they redid the masters for these games, they built them from the ground up. Now, in the original Crash, there was round, there was square edges uh, on the polygons within the coding. So when you jumped, you kind of caught the ledge. And if you caught it, you were fine. But now they're round edges. So two round edges, you just slide off. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it happen where I know I've hit that ledge and just watched him slide off. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Like, I'm at a level right now in the first game. And I don't know if I'll ever beat it because I just I can't get the jump. Mm -hmm. Although I did find that I could. It's um, it's in the sky and there's a rope bridge and all the pieces are falling off. I did find that I can run along the, the rope bridge part. <laughs> Oh, yeah. As long as I stay within those parameters of like where the edges are, mm -hmm. I, I ran like a good chunk of the level just on those without having to do any of the side shit. Yeah. But as soon as I moved, I fell. So it, there is that balance. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so the game is harder. And I should mention uh, the guy in, uh, I don't remember his name, but in the article, he's the one that found it with a uh, guy from Reddit, dove into it and managed to find it. And it was just, there's a lot of people who were like, Oh, you guys just suck at video games, blah, blah, blah. No, this game is fucking hard. Like, it is. And, it, like, people that I follow who are, like, massive gamers that are really good are fucking struggling with this mm -hmm. game. Like, I love it, but I think I've made it nine levels in the first Crash game. How many are there? Do you, like, I do not know offhand, but I know there's many. a lot. Like, you you got to be over half. There, there's no way that's, that there, it goes into like 20, 30 levels. Well, because it's like Mario. It's like old school Mario, right? You go along each level yeah. and you go like that. So it is it is a chunk game, but mm. God, it's fucking hard. Um, What else we got? We got, no, well, this is kind of a TV thing, but Assassin's Creed is getting an anime series. Uh, along the veins of like Castlevania, got it's the one. guy. It's the same guy that's yeah. doing it. So we'll do, yeah, he's doing Castlevania. Yeah, so they're doing Assassin's Creed the animated series or anime animated, whatever. Yeah. But um, is it going cool. to Netflix? I saw that the other day, but I didn't see where it was going because like Castle Castlevania is going to Netflix or whatever, <laughs> right? Castlevania. What is it? Castlevania. <laughs> Castlevania. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to Netflix. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, it, it 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 didn't say. <laughs> Pretty much, I just said like Castle Belly Button. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Castle Neva. <laughs> Castle Neva. It it, uh, it doesn't. It's just that they announced that it's not. It hasn't said where it's going yet, and uh, depending on who owns Ubisoft at that point, we'll see who uh, doesn't. Um, they delayed Five Nights at Freddy's number six, which at this point, like, I don't care. Cause like I've never I, I like watching people play that yeah. game more than I like actually playing it. Mm -hmm. But they're convinced the creator is just messing with them. Most of the people on the internet, anyways, and that he's just gonna stealth release it. I guess. Oh yeah. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. I mean, it's not like it's a hard game to program. It's the guy sitting in a room with jump scares. Yeah. Like in the, in the screen. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Um, more alien stuff in GTA Five. Like they still haven't figured out what all those alien symbols are within the game. Remember all those, like, you see them everywhere mm -hmm. in the UFOs and stuff? Now they've activated a single-player mission that deals with aliens. Uh, you hunt eggs and shit like that. It was, but it's buried, buried deep Is within the game. Is that, like, single-player, like, offline or online? Offline. Offline. Offline, yeah. So it, it, it is in there. It looked, I'm, my guess is that there was initially some point going to be single-player DLC for GTA V. And it was going to be the alien stuff. And then... I hit online and they saw the numbers for people yeah, playing online, online and massive. buying those packs. Yeah. Yeah. And like this game is still popular because of packs. They just did a huge, massive like uh, gun smuggling update. on yeah. it, And they were just like, you know what? Fuck it. We'll cancel the single player DLC and just keep Which pumping sucks, out stuff. I, it does. Yeah. But like, I understand. I get it. And like a lot of the updates on GTA five are free mm -hmm. and they're big, massive, like game changing updates. So I think that was pretty cool of a uh, thing. Plus, as long as you're offline, you can use mods and shit. So they're pretty cool about that. Yeah. So I, I, I'm i like, whatever. Let them have it. Um, Spider-Man, the game, Marvel Spider-Man, as it's now being known, uh, will have an interest, a uh, romantic interest for Peter Parker. Um, they did not specify who it would be. Um, he's had a few. I'm guessing so, MJ. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I was just trying to lead away from that. Um, and then as well as different stages of weather dynamics within the game, which is pretty cool. Cause That's I, cool. I would love to just like swing through New York as it's snowing. Yeah. I th and then just hearing a bitch about that. It's cold. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be hilarious. Um, 
I believe. I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> you just randomly bust out like start singing. It's hilarious. Uh, that is. Oh, um. So this is a weird bit of news. An assassination plot against the French prime minister was discovered by a video game form. Oh yeah. Which is. It's kind of funny if you think about it. So this guy, a uh, 23-year-old dude, was arrested after he was trying to plot and assassinate the French president. Um, I won't read his name, mainly because I can't. Uh, he was arrested last week. He threatened police with a knife when they arrived at his home, and he planned to kill the newly elected president, um, Macron, during the French Bastille Day celebration later this month. Um, which President Trump is going to attend, is expected to attend. Yeah. And I'm like, this is a joke. Why wouldn't you try to kill Trump? <laughs> Leave the French guy alone. <laughs> joke. <laughs> I just had to specify that in case anyone actually watched this video and went, oh, he thinks he should kill Trump. <laughs> No, Trump is going to get himself killed. It's easy. He's At this point, he's going to get himself knocked out of the presidency. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah, I guess they alerted the police. And, yeah, he went over there. And he was looking to buy some type of weapon, I guess, to take carry like out a, the attack. Like a laser phaser? <laughs> yeah, he was looking to buy a, a phaser from Star Trek <laughs> and then realized he was in the wrong century. And he was like, <laughs> he shit. Can't get, he can't get a thing and then he went, oh, mon dieu, what do I do? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I just thought that was kind of uh, fascinating, funny type news that, like, this idiot went on to a full video game forum looking to buy a gun because, you know, that's hard. And, maybe it's uh, hard in France. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't know. I I just don't know go, I'm just about. going off America where you could walk into a 7-Eleven and purchase an Uzi. That is not accurate, I think. We're pretty close to Michigan. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> um. Yeah, the guy's been arrested before for doing stupid shit, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you want to jump into some TV news real quick? Um, sure. What do you got for TV? Uh, I what have, nothing. they have Luke Cage, they have the two villains cast that will be in the next season. I saw that. Um, I saw that the other day, right? Yeah. And I, I clicked on it, and I read the two, uh, there's two actors, right? Yeah. And then um, I read the characters they're playing. Yeah. And then I was like, realized he had no idea who they are. And then I was like, oh yeah, I don't know who these people are. And I didn't watch the first season. <laughs> uh, Gabriel Dennis and Mustafar. Mustafa. Mustafa. I. It's Mustafa. I don't. I. As soon as I read it, I was like, that ain't right. Uh, Shakir. Yep, that's what we're going with. Uh, one will play John McEvler. He is known as Bushmaster in the comics. I don't read Luke Cage Bush comics. Bushmaster. So. Yeah. That's as soon as I euphemism. Right? For what? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to cut trees. And then the other one will play um uh, Tadell Johnson. Johnson in the comics is known as Nightshade. And all I could think of when I heard Nightshade was that DC villain who wears the top hat and the, has the cane and he makes shadows. He was in um, Justice League Unlimited. Mm. I never watched Unlimited. Yeah. I never watched Justice League. <laughs> you missed out. Go watch Justice League. I should. Stop this crap and go watch Justice League. Okay. <laughs> it would be funny if we could actually get up but because of our setup we really can't move I'm, until I'm fixed we're in done. here until we're done <laughs> as it is like if he tries to get up and actually succeeds he turns on the xbox as he walks by mm -hmm. and then we feel bad for the xbox christina turned it on the other day did she <laughs> uh friday night yeah <laughs> yeah eventually it must have shut off on its own because i didn't i never turned it yeah, off Yeah, it has that self shut off and then we have the uh plot synopsis of the um premieres for legends arrow and flash and my god the only one that had any interest to me was legends which says like shit ton about the premieres i read flash the premiere i read no i actually did read all three of them i did read all three and then the title for flash was revealed did you see that for the first episode yeah it, it's um the thing that deals with uh, his rebirth from yeah it was called flash rebirth yeah yeah, yeah. we'll see yeah. i don't know we'll, we'll see there <laughs> 
plot synapses are useless for the most part because like they it are. just they're, says they're generic, generic stuff. But it's like it opens and then, it, it's generic, and then it repeats a lot of what we already know from the finale. It was like, will anyone survive the island that was ex- blew up? When, you, you know, yeah. it just mentions all that stuff. And, yeah. While we're on these air shows for a moment, um. Now I got that fucking R. Kelly song in my head. I just wanted to move the logos away because, you know, pff, we don't have no corporate sponsors. You know, milk to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we get rid of the... We are... F- what? What are we going into? Flash... Flash is four. Flash four, Arrow six, and Legends three. three. Can we get rid of that bullshit at the beginning? I am the fastest man alive. My name is Barry Allen. Blah, blah. If you don't fucking know this by now, I mean, Barry doesn't know he is. Yeah, Barry doesn't know. I think they just repeat it for him. (laughs) Can we just get rid of that? We don't need it anymore. And it's just an unnecessary 30 seconds. And I hate it. You need Sometimes they don't do it. Sometimes they just have to do the soft intro, like within the show. And then you just hear, like, for Arrow, you'll just hear, like, that boom, 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 boom. And then the logo. I don't need this. Depending on how crap. long that soft intro is, sometimes it's like three minutes, and some yeah. other times it's like nine. Like I don't, I don't need it. There's no point to it. These shows are now far enough in that we don't need them, yeah. especially Arrow. Well, yeah, you don't need like it anymore. he does not need to say I was on an island. My name is Arrow. Uh, I shoot people. Mm-hmm. Like you don't need that anymore. It's pointless. It takes up thirty seconds of useless airtime. But I guess what they were to replace that thirty seconds with is just like. A shot of something You're or not you could just not do anything i guess i think they got to fill the space you got 42 and so many seconds to fill you could just write better dialogue so that it fits in the entire show uh, that's like a complete overhaul of the show from like top they, to we bottom. Don't, and we don't have time for that crap yeah, they don't, they're like <laughs> season six why start writing good shows now like, well they could go fish the rule book <laughs> out of the dumpster <laughs> 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 i just picture this like there's like a trash the can rule in the book and it's just fucking tears. like everything. All every <laughs> paper is, is just a pile of trash in the corner, right? Yeah. That they just keep throwing everything at. DC's entire catalog of shit is just out the window. Yep. Uh, so what were we doing? TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're on TV. Uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was it. Moving on to movies. Moving on to movie news. Okay, did you see this about um Hellboy? No, I didn't. S- Lionsgate is in final negotiations to release Hellboy. Rise of the Blood Queen. Um, apparently, they are filming the movie and they're doing, but they have no one to distribute. There's it. no distributor. No. It says Hellboy is one of the odd franchises that every movie has been released by a different studio. So I, the last, I didn't know the that. other two movies were released by two different studios. I, guess. I thought Lion Gage just put them. The out. first film was made by Revolution Studios and released by Columbia, while Golden Army was made by Relativity. Relativity Media and yeah. distributed by Universal. Huh. I and did now not know it, that. According, uh, now it appears the tradition is set to continue with the upcoming reboot according to a report uh, which was confirmed by The Hollywood Reporter. Lionsgate is in final negotiations to release Hellboy Rise of the Blood Queen. Well, Lionsgate, you're like low upper tier, right? It's the lower of the studios but like the, the top lower studios. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that gets released through there. That's yeah, it's good. It's just like it's not your Columbia Universal, uh, Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers Disney, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's not your big, your yeah. big ones. But yeah, I did. I read this earlier, and I was like, I didn't realize that every movie was made. And produced I by, I didn't know that either. I thought it was just all put out by them, by someone. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. So yeah, there's that. That's that. news. Mm-hmm. Uh, Top Gun has a um, director as well as a release date. So it's going to be directed by Tron Legacy director Joseph Kowalski, Kowalski, Kowinski, and I'm like, couldn't just make him direct Tron three. Uh, Jerry Bruckheimer is the producer. Tom Cruise is in it. You can give up on that Tron script. I know. Stupid fucking. John and I got something Carter else that you Myers. can probably give up on. I'll tell you about it in a minute. The Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like gung-ho about it i just i think there will be one at some point and uh that comes out uh july 12 2019 so 2019 2019 yeah wow i did not expect them to go another year and a half 
I did. This movie's like barely getting off the ground as we go. It keeps I losing it was, directors. I thought it was getting a lot closer. And then well, I remember like 18, they did that. 18. They released. They they've been trying to get it for a while. Yeah. They did the thing, and that dude did that other thing, and then they stopped the thing for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, tragic. And then I guess they just stalled it for a bit, and now they're gonna do it. So, hope it's good. Top Gun's awesome. Watched it for the first time, like what last year? Yeah. Oh, by the way, we gotta watch um, the spoof. Uh, of Top Gun. Yeah, uh, it's a spoof of like all those type of movies. Okay, what's it it's called? It's uh, Hot Shots Hot with uh, Shots. Charlie Sheen. Okay, I've heard of it. Yeah, there's yeah. Hot Shots one and then Hot Shots two, which is um, like a parody of like Rambo and shit. Mm-hmm. And I randomly came. I was like, shit, I've never watched these, but meant to. Yeah. And I'm gonna we gotta watch them at some point. Um. So there's that. Uh, I'll see that at some point. Much like I did Alien Covenant. Um, which is 140 character review is up on Twitter. 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 You, yes. you twatted a twit. I twatted. <laughs> <laughs> we are just full on like embracing who we are at this point um captain marvel it all in all seems like uh, samuel jackson will be in this movie gotta connect everything but no no see here's my thing i get the connection thing but i actually this fucking makes sense within the terms of captain marvel and what she does she technically works for sword well did at some point mm-hmm. which is an offsuit off thing of shield so we haven't seen Fury. Shield, sh- oh wait, Sword and Shield. Yeah. Okay. Shield is like Sword is like the space one. So if we haven't seen Fury for a while, he's no longer director of Shield. What if he went off to start Sword, Captain Marvel? Boom, ties it all in. But it still makes sense within nice, the character. Yeah, makes sense within the character to have to set up Sword. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, fine, we'll get and agents uses, of Sword. Then he uses Sword to take down Shield, but Shield is already taken down. But somehow their TV division still limps on. <laughs> their street level TV division is still active. Can we shit on Inhumans again? Because I don't feel like we shit on that enough yet. Sure. What do you got for us? Nothing. It's just fucking awful. It looks so bad. It's because they 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 don't give a fuck but they saw what happened was okay so we talked about it a little bit yeah it's gonna be a movie yep then they scrapped it yep but they saw like there was some buzz about it having been a movie yeah people were positive about it they wanted to see they just it. make the so then they were like movie no they were like we're not making this fucking movie you yeah. guys want anything here's a two-bit tv show like it don't like it couldn't give a fuck we make but billions of dollars you've now. proven <laughs> that you can take characters that no one really gives a flying fuck about and make movies out of them. So why not use that? I don't know what I'm looking for. Drive to make another movie to make more money. Mm-hmm. Like you're not like you're not going to make money off the Inhumans for all intents and purposes. No. So why not make it a fucking movie and not deal with the backlash of this looks like shit? Yeah, I guess. So I, I don't get I it. I don't get but it. But what do I know? I do, yeah, what do I know? Um. I think Amazing Spider-Man 2 is good. I think Dark Knight Rises sucks. So, um, so there's a little bit of uh, Star Wars thing here. This is pretty cool. The original um, R2-D2 unit mm-hmm. uh, from the original trilogy and the two first two prequels sold at auction for uh, $275 million. Holy motherfuck. Yeah. I thought you were going to say 275000 No. Million. $275 million. Million. No fucking way. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, there's no fucking way I buy that. Oh, I'm not buying it. But I guess if you, like, if you have the money no, and no. you like Star Even Wars. Even if I had, to have $275 what if you, got you Bill, have billions. What if you got Bill Gates money, you still don't buy it? No. No? No. What if it's like the original Michael Ke- Keaton Batman suit? You could buy that for like a hundred grand. They're, His suit. Yeah, that his he suit. wore. Yeah, you've seen no, like I think Kilmer's like the one Fuck from Kilmer. I'm, I'm talking say- Keaton. I'm just saying, like I think like Kilmer's has been auctioned off or something like that, and those go for like you get the like Christopher Reeves, like his first Superman is like a few million dollars, like. Maybe went for like two million or. I shit bet you like if that. they did it you now, know? it'd be a fuck of a lot. This was more. just a few years ago. Yeah, but I'd do it now. Why now? What what changed in five years? He was people, already gone. People people miss him because he was now already we have gone. Superman. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh god, we got this. 
<laughs> Cavill's suit probably sells for like a buck fifty. <laughs> <laughs> There's no no fucking way I buy that. I wouldn't buy that. Fuck it. That's a lot of money, man. Um, moving on. Yeah. Um, Let's go to your Power Rangers. We, as we talked about, watched a movie a couple weeks ago, last week. When pretty it came decent. Out. Pretty decent. Wasn't wasn't as bad as I thought. I no. went in low expectations. I enjoyed it. If I had one gripe, it would be that it was very slow in building. Yes. And you only get that one final fight where yeah. you're in the suits. Most movies, even in an uh, um, origin story, you'll get like they get to the suits a lot fucking faster. Yeah, there's usually about a half I, hour. I applaud them for for the dragging way they, the fuck yeah. out of it for the way they told it. And also at the same time, I was like, "Can we get going here?" But yeah. at the same time, I was like, "Wow, this is they actually paced this out." I was kind of surprised. That I just felt like that. they paced it too much. They did a little. You know what it was? I guarantee that it was this. We have a hundred million dollars. They could not afford. We can the afford scenes. one fight scene. Yeah, we can afford two ten-minute scenes or one final twenty-minute scene at the yeah. end. Granted, that seems good. And yeah, it's good, but I that's a hundred percent. You know what, what you could have did? You could have cut to. out the part where the idiots made the Megazord dance like a moron and ha- You do realize that this is going on the internet, right? I know. Okay. Uh, no one. No watches. one's watching it. But it's <laughs> no going one. On wa- the Nobody watches. It's okay. Yeah. Four people do. We have an average of four viewers per uh, thing, which is weird because we have eleven subscribers. Yeah. So not every. What the wa- fuck? Not all of you are fucking watching. Hey, but that's eleven cool. subs. Uh, the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Not all of you are watching. We can do math. We don't look as dumb as we sit as we look. We're not as dumb as we look. <laughs> We're not as dumb as we look. I'm just gonna let that sink <laughs> in for a minute. <laughs> We are as dumb as we look. We are, but, <laughs> but we can also do math, and, and it doesn't check out. <laughs> That's why he reads the numbers. <laughs> um, so, but uh, anyways, DVD yeah. sales are doing good for um, Power yeah. Rangers. It looks like it, it will beat um, John Wick and uh, Beauty and the Beast in home video sales and beat Logan and Life for the top spot for rental. Which is shows. crazy, right? Beauty and Beast is still on top. That was an awesome movie, though. Beauty and Beast was. I, I gotta watch it. It's on my list. But well, I am, I am good. knocking off my list of stuff to watch, I've which knocked. is nice. <laughs> 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 like I got, I watched King, I watched King Kong finally. Yeah. And I watched Alien Covenant. Mm-hmm. Now I have Beauty and the Beast, and uh, I do want to check out both John Wicks. Uh, I, have, I never wanted to watch the first I one, didn't, but now then, but now the second I one came out, and to. like, there's like, what do they call it? They call it Gun Fu. Yeah, like his whole, and I was like, I kind of want to check this out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because the first one it seems so dumb, but it's, now that and it's, it was very like know. low key, yeah, you know, just kind of in and out. Now that know. it hit mainstream, I totally yeah. Check now it out. I'm jumping the bandwagon. <laughs> I love bandwagoning, but no, I I actually I do want to check them out at some point, but I am I'm getting down that movie list, so that's nice. Yeah. Um. But now, uh, if only I could get my games list a bit smaller, that would be great. <laughs> and then what else do we got? Um, <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> did you uh, see? Oh, that's comic. Death Note. That's the one with the book, right? Yes. Did the anime that, that I, I want to watch. But, it was um, something to do with the director saying like why they changed the setting. Yeah. To where they did. Yeah, it's set in America. Yeah, and I'm just like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's uh, you know, what's weird concept though. Like um, it was explained to me by one of my buddies who, yeah, years Watch. ago, years of, like yeah, seven yeah. years, probably when I first met him, probably like six years ago. Yeah, told me about it, and I just, but I just don't like anime. No, you like, really you don't. You can't. You you can't. But it's one of those anime. animes where it's like it's really good anime, and mm-hmm. it doesn't fall into the the stupid tropes. You of know anime. what I consider good anime. Like, um, we'll say Batman the Animated Series. Now, follow my joke on this, okay? It oh. is so far from anime. Yeah. It's good anime. I'm just, <laughs> if we had viewers, if we had viewers, I always, I often think about this. Sometimes we say, say things that I just know would piss off a hardcore fan base. But I was, and, I, I, like, I, was I had a, I, I, I redeemed myself. I'm saying it was so far from anime yeah. that it, that it's good anime. Yeah. Because that that's how bad I hate fucking anime. I like anime. I like certain animes. Mm-hmm. I hate the like tropes of anime mm-hmm. and some of the stupid things they do in anime where I'm just like, just make a fucking show. Yeah. You know what the anime is really bad for? 
fucking filler. <laughs> they are I, I, the I just, king. Yeah. They are the kings of filler. Like Dragon Ball Z is like eighty-seven billion episodes long, mm-hmm. and like three billion of that is filler. <laughs> to the point where they released later on a thing called Dragon Ball Z Kai, and I think I think Dragon Ball is like a hundred or Dragon Ball Z is like a hundred something episodes. They managed to knock it down to like thirty-four of what you what yeah. you really need to watch yeah. to get the story. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's awesome. That is ridiculous. And as a man who owns most of the seasons of Dragon Ball Z, you're like, fuck! I could have just bought this one for thirty-five <laughs> discs, you yeah. know, or thirty-five episodes. Yeah, uh, I just I think that's funny. Um, pfft. I have one comic book story, and that is that. One sec, I oh, wasn't we have, done. Oh, we have. About, we have. We have more stuff. Um, Hooray! Yeah, I wasn't done everything about um, movies. Movies. Hang on, we're going back to movies. He had stuff. I was not so, aware. This could be. Uh, I'll throw it out here. Okay. Spoilers. If you do not want to know this. It's it's more of a rumor, but it could be spoilers. But um, Geno- uh, Genosha, right? X Men. Yes, I was pausing for dramatic. Effect. Could be um, finally in the movies, which I thought was kind of cool. It'd Wait, be cool. They to still see make X Men movies. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's amazing. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't even think Fox knows they make X Men movies. <laughs> <laughs> Could be in the movies, which I always like that idea of the. The island with all the mutants and like making yeah. a running in and stuff like that. What, you know what, what I like the in, idea um, of in, actual uh, X Men movies. Yeah, that too. But uh, what is it? Is it the um, Wolver- Wolverine and the X Men, and they have to get there? Yeah. Right. Yeah, to fight Magneto in, the, in, in that animated series. Like that was fucking <sighs> awesome. So fucking good. You know what we need to do? One of these days, talk about the uh, X Men cartoons. The three of them. Three of them, yeah. The nineties, the evolution, evolution, and, and Wolverine, Wolverine and the X Men. Put it on the list, yeah. Um, and if you guys out there are four watchers, our eleven subscribers who should be watching this but aren't, if you guys have a topic you want us to talk about, it, let us know. Anything, we'll talk about anything. Comment, I'll, I will say, like, anything. follow, subscribe. It's our new mantra. Yes. If you watched last week's episode, thanks to the four that did. Comment. Like, follow, yeah, you guys, subscribe. You guys got a topic you want us to talk about or anything you want us to make fun of or a movie you want us to watch within our realm of uh, what we And know. we'll watch anything. Yeah, basically. And we will make comments on it and make stupid jokes and sing, apparently. Now um, that song's in my fucking head, though. Like, I'm just hearing, like... So, random tidbit. You know what two songs were in my head today? Hmm. I wear sunglasses at night by Corey Hart, which not a bad song, not a good song. And then for no fucking apparent reason, except because we went Barbie to that girl. thing. No, all the things she said by tattoo. All the things she said. All the things she said. Oh, she said, oh like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all fucking day I had both of those songs just, just fuck. competing for her yeah. space. <laughs> I'm like, there's only so much room, guys. <laughs> So the first thing I did when I got out of work, threw on my headphones, went into Spotify, sunglasses at night, played that. That was done. Went played tattoo. They say if you hear the song, I was good to go. Head, yeah, it, it gets out. Yeah, I'm like I don't know. It it does. It, it yeah. does. I at least for me it does. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, just fucking randomly all. I don't know why sunglasses at night, but tattoo because we went to that prom thing. Mm-hmm. So that the vi- they showed the video there, and I was just mm-hmm. like, it's fucking in my head. Mm-hmm. It's not even a good song. Nope. But it has those things in it. Yep. Um, those things. <laughs> so, comic news? Yeah. Comic um, news my final story. So, okay. Here's the thing with comic news. The only thing I got is the... I'm going to wait on Legacy until Comic-Con. Okay. Because, yes, they are trickling shit out. But I don't want to... Rem- First, I don't want to remember what we already covered. True that. I, I true that. Don't want to do it every week, and they're going to announce everything at Comic Con. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's having an off week. Um, 
yeah, I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to remember what we already covered. There's four already announced. I think five at this point. So am so, I going to read the story? Am I going to mention that this article then? Is it about Marvel Legacy? Yes. Is it the like five titles that they announced? No. What is it? It's literally that Iron Man is back in his suit in uh, uh, issue 593. Yeah, we'll talk about that when we get to Con. Okay. Because that was the plot synopsis for like 593. They, yeah. So Marvel Legacy, unless you guys really want to know, we'll, we'll cover it. You really don't because there's 52 titles, 53 when they finally announce it. Which I think, by the way, will be capped because we saw the list, right? So of some of it, no Captain America. Main so what else do you got for comics then? Uh, I it have has nothing with legacy. It is uh, Spider-Man Two, which I know sounds weird, but it is the crossover between Peter Parker and Miles Morales as Spider-Man. Which when they did Spider-Man One, they were in separate universes and yes. crossed over, so it kind of made sense. Mm-hmm. This one is the five-year sequel, finally to. Who is Miles Morales in the 616? Now, for those of you who may not know, at one point there was two Marvel universes. There was the 616 and the Ultimates. The Ultimates, they finally killed. They brought some people over, and now they're both in the same universe. At the end of the 616 um, story, Peter Parker was like, hey, I wonder if there's a Miles Morales in our universe. Yes. Looked it up, was horrified what he saw. That was the end of the book. And everyone's like, well, who is he? And I guarantee you, it won't be as fascinating as they made it out to be. So that, th- there was a little... Um, they, so you don't they, know yet? No, we have is. no idea who he is yet. Like, okay, so... In the 616. Like, who, like what he does. Yeah. Because, like, we know who he is. Yeah. He's Miles Morales. Yeah, we don't know what he is, like... How, what, Within yeah. the world. Within the 616. world, yeah. Like, he could be a murderer yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Like, and now, and it deals kind of with them now in the main universe where Miles has so, to live up to being Spider-Man. Miles, Ultimate Miles, yeah, is in the six one six. Yes, with Peter from yes. the six one six. Yes, and Peter six one six wants to find Miles six one six. Yes, and he has found him, but it, we don't know like the type of person he is. No, okay, we will find out in this mini series, which the first one really good read. I read all of it; it was fantastic. But you don't get the reveal in it yet. No. Okay, they're gonna drag this up. They how will, many? How many issues? I is believe it? it's six issues. Six issues. Which probably get to three before you find out. Who yeah, it is. probably. Which is fine. I'm okay yeah. with that because, like, yeah. I like I, I re- Those are the only books I really read is Spider Man. Yeah, <laughs> on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there were six covers. They look really cool. There's this one where Miles is on top of a, uh, I believe it's a moving car, and he's got his mask up, and it mm-hmm. just it's a really good cover. Mm-hmm. Um, there's six covers. I'll put them here. You guys can see them. Um. I think in the bottom corner here, wherever, I have to put like all rights reserved or whatever. Oh, for the photos? Yeah. Or at least somewhere in the plot uh, thing. I've noticed on a few videos, they either put it there or in the thing to say that it's not ours. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Again, we're learning as we go. I'm just basing what I know and what I learn. What everyone else does. Exactly. Like, at least for posting stuff and content, we just, we learn as we go. Yes. We really have no idea what we we're doing. No we have no fucking clue. We think we have this podcast. No um, motherfucking well. clue what we're doing. No, we don't. We, we've streamlined this podcast pretty well, though, I think. We worked out some of the bugs. Yeah. We're moving yeah. along. We're chugging. Um, chugga, 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 chugga. Right now, we're chugga, just rambling because we're chugga, trying chugga. to fill time because of the fucking lack of goddamn news. I was just rambling because it's... I hear voices. We've both been working <laughs> for 12, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we both worked all day today. I'm going to duck out of frame again for a minute. <laughs> uh, okay well i guess this is as good a time as any to jump yeah, into our topic 40, because we are done the news yeah uh, so topic 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 this one was my idea because uh, a few weeks ago i went and got all caught up on the doctor doctor who season 10 peter's last run as the doctor so for anyone who actually watched the podcast this week we'll see you next week yep because you now you're gonna want to shut it off yeah because the doctor who is great but it's like either you watch it or you don't and it's really hard to explain if you don't but you know what though like there are people who don't watch it who still know what the fuck it is yeah so anyways so again we're going into spoilers because we're going to talk about the entire season but we're going to start off i think with probably the season finale you want to start off with yeah we'll just go for the season finale and then talk about the season as a whole yeah um, you want to give the rundown of the, of the episode? Okay, I'll give the rundown of the episode. So, it's a two-parter. Starts with 11 and 12, episode count. You have Bill, the companion, 
who gets trapped on, they're on like a spaceship. Spaceship is being pulled into a black hole. Spaceship must be fucking massive in length. Like, I don't know how... Length well, and width, everything. Yeah, like, Height. Yeah, there's because a fucking like, city in it. Yeah, because like... So she's at the bottom of the spaceship where time is moving faster because she's closer to this black hole. Whereas if you're at the very en- the opposite end, time is slower. So... Because she got shot. Yeah. So anyways, she gets brought down to the bottom of the uh, spaceship and the doctor's on the top level. Take, it takes like I think they say it takes like years, a, a few years of her time before he can make it down to her. Yeah. Whereas to him, it was only a matter of like riding the elevator for two or three minutes. Yeah, it was crazy. You know. But uh, so she's down there. She's what happens is she slowly becomes or gets morphed into a Cyberman. We find out at the end of the episode. And um, those things are scary. Yeah. Shit, all hell. Followed by the friend of hers that she may, met down there is revealed to be the master who was from the time with uh, David. And and 13 before that. Well, yeah. Well, he w- he wasn't the same actor, though. No, no, but... But I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. David's Yeah, David's for all intents and purposes, it was David's master, yes. Yeah, who is the incarnation before Missy, who is Peter's master. So right. good. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. So, episode ends there. Yeah. Fast forward to episode twelve, and we have the Doctor preparing for a war against the Cybermen because he knows that they're coming for Bill and they're coming for him. They're coming for everyone because now they're they've gone fully online to recruit, um, upgrade humans because that's what they find is necessary to, for their survival. Um, by fucking the, amazing episode. By the way, at what point did you realize that it was the Master? In disguise. Uh, just near the, just like probably a f- like seconds, thirty seconds, like right at the end when he's when he comes around the corner, yeah. and starts talking to Missy. I kind of figured it out then because I knew he was in the episode. For me, it was literally as soon as he appeared on the screen. I'm like, he's the master. Oh yeah, I knew it. Like, yeah. why else would they give this guy such prominence? Mm-hmm. Like he he um he came in and he helps her out right yeah he tells her to hide and he sees her and I'm like okay it's just a I minor. just thought it was a nice nice okay. creepy man yeah <laughs> a nice creepy minor character at the moment but then he kept appearing and I'm like okay it's him he's in disguise he's been in disguise before he was in that the one episode but Tanit before he was in disguise yeah and you're like okay it's him I knew it was him and he no I didn't like I said I didn't really yeah. notice until just as around the time it was revealed did you see the thing about him being pissed at the bbc for announcing it that he was on the show at yeah. all no yeah he, i guess he was he was like he was like they shouldn't he shouldn't have said anything they shouldn't have announced Cause then you it. wouldn't have known when you first seen him yeah it would have it would have been a huge fucking reveal it would yeah. been awesome yeah but um yeah he was super pissed at the bbc for even announcing they shouldn't it. yeah they, I, well, I agree getting into him. what they should and shouldn't announce about something that could have been fucking awesome at the end but anyways I, so well, okay so yeah we'll get into that go ahead so Episode 12 kicks off. Cy- uh, Peter, or yeah, Peter the Doctor is preparing for the war against the Cybermen. And he, he's he been sick for since the episode, I think it's like five, where he uh, does the oxygen. Yeah, episode five with the oxygen. Yeah. Where he takes off his helmet to save Bill. Yeah. And you, you've seen him a few times regenerating and then stopping it. And yeah. And like... He was blind for an episode or two and all that. That was so. That was awesome. awesome. That was so good. And then, um, so he's weak. He knows that he's weak, and he knows he won't survive the fight with the Cybermen. So his plan is to get the town that they're at now, which is five levels above where they originally started, at the bottom. And Started he wants the to move them here. five floors up, yeah. which would again would take like thirty fucking years apparently to get up there or whatever, like. I would just be like, you know what, kill me. And move them there. That way the Cybermen take time to find them again. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of uh, his... Uh, what the fuck is his name? Nodor? N- Nodorf? Yeah, what's his name? I could never understand exactly what his name was. It's something... Nardor. Nador. 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 Yeah. N-A-R-D-O-L-E. Nador. So not hold the door. No. Not hold door. No, no. No. Not hold the door. No. Not hold the door. No. no. Game, we're Game of Thrones spoiler. Of Thrones. <laughs> that starts soon. Chris Cross. Um, hey ho. <laughs> Applesauce. Chris Cross. 
Yeah, crisscross yeah. applesauce. I want hey ho, hip hop yeah. hooray. <laughs> <laughs> um, week so eleven, all hell is broken. 11, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I don't either. Um, <laughs> yeah, because of week yeah, one, so one through ten, he, we did. He does that fucking thing, and he gets him to take the characters or not the characters, the character. the, you know, fictional the actors, characters, fictional, <laughs> fictional characters. <laughs> um. <laughs> I fucking love that oh, bit. I fictional love that bit. characters. They're not you. They're fictional <laughs> characters. Fictional. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love that. We got to do a commentary on those, man. Yeah. All of those movies. <laughs> so good. So he gets uh, his companion, his buddy, to move these care uh, people up to the fifth floor where they're going to be safe. And his plan where is to blow up the entire floor. Yeah, yeah they have men's wear up there. His plan is to blow up the entire floor. Yeah. Um, pretty cool idea. It's all wires and things, so it makes yeah. sense that it would go up. Uh, then you have the amazing fucking speech at the end with... Uh, as, it, as it moves towards the final battle, you get the... Peter has an awesome speech to the two masters yeah. about why he does what he does, and it's just... He says it's, it's I'm a just nice to guy. be good. Yeah. It's just... It, this is. He's like, I won't save all these people, and they will die... It, it, the Cybermen will get them like next week or next month, but right now they will not die. Like, yeah. You know, it's just the right thing to do. And the old master looks right at him and pretty much tells him to fuck off. He was like, he yeah. Was like, he was like, what's it feel like to know basically that you made that whole speech and I didn't listen to a goddamn word of it and then just walks away. And then walks away, yeah. And I'm like, that was, I fucking love this guy. Yeah. And then Missy, who is a little softer, she walks away. Is it because she's a lady? I don't. I don't. I don't know. No, I just meant because she, she's soft. Yeah, because she's a lady. And then, <laughs> um, so she walks. She walks away too, though. But yeah. then her and herself, like her last incarnation, have a cool moment where they're like, "That's so fucking good." Yeah, where like she she then goes to turn on him. Yeah, and go back and help the doctor, and then he shoots her in the fucking back. And says, no, this is how we end. Yeah. I'll turn to you because she killed him. Yeah. And then I will kill you. So, like, that loop right there will always occur. Like, you know? It's a fixed point in time. Yeah. So, like, they'll always Which, by the way, I know for a fact. Well, I don't know for a fact. I'm just pulling this out of my ass. If they... She's not dead. If they do a master again. For the they next might just year. bring a new... They, they, but they could go the route of, like... Maybe she regenerated to someone else. Well, like, that's you, what you I won't mean. see yeah. her. No, for no, sure. no, she's definitely dead. But I'm and just then, saying, like, it's not the end of the master. Definitely, mm -hmm. unless I don't know what they do. But that's yeah, yeah. But it was a cool idea. I like that. Yeah, I did too. It was it was great. And now, what like the end of the episode? Yeah, end of the episode. So Doctor good. blows up the entire fucking like floor floor that they're on. Kills ninety percent of the. Um, Cyberman. Bill, who is now a Cyberman, walks up and finds him. And this is where shit got a little fucking weird and I meant to watch the pilot episode again. Mm -hmm. Because the girl from the water yeah. shows back up. Takes her off and to takes have her adventures. out of the Cyberman form and makes her a human puddle. form or a puddle or whatever the fuck. She was a puddle. She wasn't human. She was the yeah. puddle people. She was, yeah. yeah. And then... But like vi visually, she, visually she's, she's a human, a human yeah, yeah. form, and then um, is somehow able to move the doctor back to his TARDIS because again, with the TARDIS being on that top fucking floor, they never had enough time to get back up there. It would have taken fucking centuries to <laughs> go back to that top floor, right? So he couldn't get back to his TARDIS. So um, she transports him right into the TARDIS, and then the two of them bounce and explore the world or whatever. Which man, just. If How many times do you keep leaving if, these? But if you're companions? gonna if you're gonna fake kill the companion, just to fucking kill one. Like, they, they killed the pawns. Yeah, but they lived a life first in the hotel. Like that point in time, they 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 were in that life. They they lived. Yeah. To an old age, it's not like they died instantly. Did they? they? No, they they lived no, a they long. Died, they died from the angels. Yeah, but they lived in that hotel together as a couple for ages. Oh yeah, and then 
Claire fucked off with the chick from Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. And then these, now, these, these she, two. Like, she, met, she leaves with the If you're going to fake girl. kill them, just kill just them. Just kill one, yeah. Like, like legit kill yeah. one now. And that like, would be a good thing. Yeah. It would be a different thing. It would, yeah, it'd be different. It's just, But they, like, they keep... He keeps kind of getting they there. They soft kills. And then they don't do it. And yeah. I'm like, if you want to do it, do it. Don't don't back out. Yeah. Which commit they seem to, to. Yeah, commit to the bit. Um, And then he fucking uh, wakes up and he realizes that the regeneration process has started. Done, and he, done, and done. But he keeps fighting it like he's been fighting all season. and But he has that moment where it's kind of a little bit like David where he was like... Oh, wait, I don't want to die. Yeah, he's he was willing to die. And just end it because he didn't want to regenerate anymore. Yeah. But then he realizes that, like, he doesn't want to fucking die, which was a cool thing when you've seen everybody saying his name. Yeah. And, like, everybody, like, Rose, fucking Jack, like... I was so excited to see yeah. Harkness again, yeah, man. Like, oh, everybody I miss was Jack there. Harkness. And, like, they say his name, and he, he, like, wakes up or whatever, and he's like, fuck, I'm not done yet. I still yeah. want to do this. But I don't want to fucking regenerate. So he, he, like, he keeps fighting the fucking thing. And the TARDIS brings him somewhere. We don't know where it brought him. It just yes, starts we flying. We, we, not when we watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Not as we watch it. And so, so the TARDIS lands and he's, he's asking, like, where did you take me? Like, I, I'm not changing. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter what you've done or what you think is going to happen. And he walks out the door and it's all like, looks like a, like the North Pole or something. It was all full of snow, right? And he, he goes to light up again for his regeneration. And he stops it one more time and he's screaming like, I'm not changing. I, I'm, I don't want to keep... He pulls like becoming. a fuck you. He's like, fuck you! Yeah, and he, <laughs> and he like slams his fist into the fucking ground. He's like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. And then uh, we hear a voice or, or someone walking towards him. And it was Peter, Jesus. Peter's like, who's who's there? And the, the other guy says something like, no, the, like you tell me who you are. Yeah. And then Peter was like, well, I'm the doctor. And then, then we see who it is and it's... The I think his name's David Bradley. He played the doctor in that miniseries about the first about the first doctor. About the first doctor, doctor, right? Who, yeah. So they got him to come back and portray the first doctor. So he's like, well, I don't think you're the doctor. You might be a doctor, but I'm the, the doctor. doctor. Yeah. That's what he tells him. And then like the two of them were looking at each other. Peter obviously knowing who he is, like, but. Him, not, get, knowing him not knowing who he is because like yeah. he's the future of himself, right? Yeah, this is the first so guy Peter, from yeah. 50 fucking years yeah, ago. Yeah, so Peter knows who he is because it's him. But the other way around, he wouldn't know who the fuck this, this guy is. Which yeah. And then it just the episode ends. Now, and I was like, fuck, that's awesome. Upon further reading, um, I'm just going to throw this out there before I give my reactions to what happened in that scene. This is the planet where the first Doctor does die going into the second doctor oh okay i didn't know that yeah so this planet is a planet within doctor who's history where the first doctor dies but it never specifies what happens from one to two Mm. it doesn't say like going between one and two there was no regeneration it was just literally the next season with a new guy and it does deal with the the uh, apparently the cybermen this is their place like manda manda whatever the hell that oh mondeus or whatever yeah this might be the planet that it is okay um and the first doctor does die going into the second one yeah. uh, in this place. Mm-hmm. But no one knows exactly what happened. So now so we're going to kind of see. Maybe that's from what, the what I gathered, it seems like it's going to be the two doctors who did not want to regenerate to the next one coming to terms with the fact that they have to regardless. Mm-hmm. So we'll probably, I'm guessing, see 12 turn into 13 and one turn into two. That would be badass if if That's they get someone who who looks like two, to, yeah. you know, and then they that would just, he turns into two, and then tw- maybe he, go this way. One accepts it and turns into two, allowing Peter to be like, "Yes, I I've done this thirteen fucking other times. I have to move forward too." Yeah, and then he goes into he Peter goes into thirteen. Done a thirteen and a half. Well, the count is all fucked up now, but Peter's twelve. As much as you want to, yeah. as much as they fucked it up with Matt and like. David t- counting twice and all this. Yeah, David the, counts twice because sh- he half regen. Yeah, and then and they did the, they war shoot doctor. On the war doctor in yeah. there and all that, whatever. A Peter show about still, time travel that's 50 years old wasn't confusing enough for people who just w- started to yeah. watch with nine. Yeah, so, let alone 10, 11, 12. Yeah, but Peter's the 12th doctor who would now turn into 13. Yeah. That would be awesome. I didn't know that part. Yeah, I, I, I had read that afterwards because I was trying to find some stuff about, about the next things that would happen. Yeah. So. My reaction to that, you saw, because mm-hmm. you were here. 
Um, I did not know about Bradley being in no, the No, I didn't know it. Yeah. So when I watched the fucking episode, watching one walk out and talk to him, I was like, fuck, my mind was fucking blown. Yeah, I didn't know about like, it. Like, it was into so awesome. Either. Like, I didn't know they cast him to do this. I didn't know uh, BBC had announced it. Or, like, I had no fucking I don't clue. think they did. So seeing that initially was like, it was fucking awesome because I love when they do the crossovers with the different doctors yeah. because they are so different from each other. They're different. They're the but same guy similar, yeah. with similar like mannerisms and shit, but completely different people. Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy to watch them interact yeah. and it's fight a, with each other. It's an incredible fucking Cause, like, show. Because they yeah. all hate each other for the most part. Like, yeah. They every incarnation <laughs> fights with the other ones. Mm -hmm. So when they do these crossovers with them, I fucking love it. I, I like the part with uh, going back to like just where they was like, uh, what is it? Name of the Doctor? War of the Doctor? Where it was like, in the name of the doctor? Yeah. Yeah. Where it was Matt, David, and the war doctor. Yeah. Right? The yeah. three of them locked in that, like, prison. So that room. fucking and good. And they just, like, yeah. are all bickering about everything. And what shit. was like, it? The, so the, the one who remembers, the one who forgets. And the one who... The one who remembers the one who regrets and the one who forgets yeah and it's just like yeah. and then they all have this speech explaining it and it's like yeah, it's so it fucking good. good um so before I, I get more into it i did read some stuff about the like next season slash christmas special yeah. thing um they're gonna have closure for billy it seems Okay. Uh, See, I, a, I little a little bit, a little bit, maybe okay. closure for Billy. She is, she is there. Um, you, you will see uh, Nordwell. Nordall, yeah. Nordar. He will be in it uh, as a closer for him, and Claire is in it. Oh, she's in the Christmas. She's in the thing. Uh, they nice. didn't elaborate how big her role was, but maybe she, within his timeline type of yeah, shit. Yeah, she know, is in it, which makes sense because she's. One, she's tied to fucking every doctor. She's tied to all of them. She, so, she in a way, saved all of them. Yeah, to, to which is sure like the, one exist. of the greatest videos ever. Yeah, like that fucking cut where they where she tells him like where she tells the first doctor to take this one. It's broken. Yeah. You'll have more fun. Oh, Netflix, <laughs> fuck you. Just <clears throat> fuck you. Put the goddamn show back on. They took it off. I think yeah. BBC took it off. Though. Well, fuck that. Put the goddamn show back yeah. on. I loved watching Doctor Who over and over again. Like uh, fuck that. Put that uh, shit back on. They took it off like a year ago. It's been off for a while. I know. Put it back on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there was that. And then, yeah, that was it for the Christmas special. Those three people are back. You will see them one and two. And then maybe some other thing, which we'll get to. I like that idea of one to two and yeah. 12 to 13. That was just my guess. I don't yeah. know if I did that. But yeah, but I just, I like that. I hope they do. So that's, that's the crazy. Christmas special. We'll talk about who's going to be 13 in a minute. I just want to kind of give a rundown of the season. Yeah. Uh, so my thoughts were going into this. Uh, the last season ended so well. It was so good. And then this season, like, it started. I watched the first it was a slow crawl. two episodes, I think, and then didn't watch it for fucking weeks. I didn't watch it. I binge watched it, catching up to the finale that already aired. Mm -hmm. So I binge watched from episode two until all the way to the end of 12. 12. Yeah. Um, slow is what I can say about most of the episodes. Like, yeah. they're good. Except for that fucking one on Mars. They're good. That one is... Yeah, that's the worst one I, of the but season. But they're so slow. Yeah, Mars would be the worst one of the like season. Like, the build-up to stuff that happens is normally pretty good on Doctor Who. Because there's no build-up until you get to those last two episodes. Where yeah, like, it's, it like does seem no like there's... no talk of, like, Cybermen. There's no talk of uh, because that the planet Because the whole arc, or I think, like, was him accepting that he's dying and trying to get Missy to, to come back to being his friend. Yeah. But, again, that's on the tail half. But that's, like, that should be a oh. sub-arc and not the yeah. main arc. But what? they put it as the main one. I wanted... Like, see... As soon as I remembered that the master was going to be in this, I wanted him to be in there. Yeah, like come sooner. And then he escapes. Mm -hmm. And they don't know where he is. And then they find him. Yeah. But no, it's Missy. And I'm like, that's not a reveal. That reveal sucked. Yeah, they need to sit in the room and they talk to each yeah. other. And they, and they made it and seem and like the big thing. So I'm like, oh, the master's in there. Of course yeah. he is. Like, he, he escapes. Yeah, they made it seem like it was yeah. whatever was in there was dangerous. And you're like, Missy's not that fucking dangerous. No. Like, like, she does some stupid shit at the other stuff where she kills a bunch of people. Yeah. But other than that, like, compared to what the master did. What she used to be. Yeah, yeah like, like, nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, like, the way I would have done it was have him in there and then show an episode where at the end of um 10 it's run the master gets sent away with the time wards 
Yeah, he right? go, tries to go to Galifor. Yeah. Show him escaping in an episode. Mm -hmm. And then have the Doctor chase him around, catch him, and do the scene where they did with Missy and that whole fucking stupid locker in the cage shit. Mm -hmm. God, that episode was boring, too. Um, Which one was that as a, as a whole? I don't remember. Let me, um, it was, I'll look it up. It later. was... It kept cutting in between shots of that and what was happening in the episode. Mm -hmm. But, like, that shit was so boring to me. It was just annoying. Um, I would have had him in one of the episodes, like a flashback, catching the master, putting him in this cage, and then um, interacting with Missy still, trying to build her up as good to working towards the master type of thing. But, yeah, that reveal sucked. I think it might have been the pyramids. It's the extremists, yeah. Oh, getting the information about right. the pyramids. Yeah, it's the first part of the pyramid one. Yeah. I believe. I like those. No, no, sorry, it's not. Extremists is before the build-up, yeah. before the two pyramids. Yes, exactly. It leads into the pyramid ones. Yes. Yeah. Those were s slow. Like, they were slow as all hell, too. It was the Veritas stuff where he was blind and he was asked to read the book by the Pope. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. And like, he can't read the book because he can't see. <laughs> but, like, they're good episodes. And, like, I like Billy and I like Nard Dwell. Yeah. It's just, they're so slow. There were a lot of slow ones. And but... it was hard to watch them because, like, they were so slow. Like, I, I really liked this season. I thought it was really good. The back end was better than the first half, mm -hmm. definitely, that once they got rolling. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I liked it. I thought it was a good season. I think their better episodes are more the ones that are like two parters because they get they're more concise than there's more one room. They and, flesh and out they, things. Yeah, and it's more concise than to a certain like this is the story that we're gonna tell for the next two episodes, yeah. or three episodes. And then you get those random ones like the Mars one. I was like, Oh, that one was not good. No, it wasn't. I wasn't sucked. A, I wasn't a huge fan of like the Eaters of Light, which was the one with the the Scottish girls and they had to hold back the monster oh i completely zoned down on that episode yeah like no, that i wasn't i honestly could not tell you the most part what happened in that episode i stopped paying attention yeah it like sucked. that one wasn't all that good but uh, i like the uh, i see the episode thin ice that was the one where the fucking monster under the ice right obviously that was ice. really good that one was really that good was i like that really one. good i really enjoyed that episode yeah. That was the... F what, what episode? That was, was uh, that? three. Yeah, that was the first one I watched going back into it, obviously. Yeah. And what a great episode to start back with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was good. Uh, I have the same... I guess the same things about the season as a whole. First half kind of dragged. Second half was better, but yeah. not, you know... But then it, it ends very well. Like, I want to watch the fucking Christmas one. Oh, yeah, I me can't too. wait until fucking so, December. What are your thoughts on Billy as a companion? She was good. Yeah. I mean, nothing special. Like, yeah, she's one and done, and you know, and you, it's like they kind of knew after that going your, into after your follow up of the now, ponds and after Claire. your pond and Claire and stuff like that. She's a one and done character. Yeah, just you having know. her kind of. She was kind of just there to experience the world as a normal person. Would. Yeah. Whereas, like the other one, like ponds, I like the. I just thought of it though. Um, I like the one with uh the house. That she rents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that good. one was kind that of was, that one was, was funny. I like that one. It is. It was. It was a different pace to see someone like the pawns were such a huge part for Matt. They were tied into everything he did mm -hmm. and how he reacted to the world. Yeah. Because same with Claire. Yeah, and Claire is tied to everyone, but her tied to everyone just adds to like the entire mythos of it all. Mm -hmm. To so to see someone who is just a one once adult. again a companion yeah. to him, experiencing all these things that a normal person can experience to see him through her, their eyes mm -hmm. was great. Yeah, it was. Um, it was just yeah, it was it was a normal change of pace to have mm -hmm. someone not tied into the not so arc. heavy into yeah. the arc. Yeah, because there was I thought there was one episode where like. It might have even been the house one where, like, it starts off with her and she, her buddies trying to get that house. But yeah. then, like, there's a part where, like, you don't even see her for most of the episode. No, it's you the know? doctor and he goes with the well, people. He goes with the other buddy yeah. of her, like, one of her friends or whatever, right? And it's just the idea that, like, yeah, she's she wasn't, she's like, integral there. to yeah. him. She was just part of the show and experiencing what they it's need like a, to he be. He needs a companion. Yeah, he, that, that yeah. he needs a companion, so she was there. Yeah. Um, like uh, I said, it wasn't horrible, but I kind of like the change of pace of not being so tied, tied down yeah. to the doctor. But I mean, you get it because like she's not coming back next season. No, they're um, not going to overflow any. This this I this is going to be very much like season five, where it's a complete overhaul. Yeah. You know, like. F five, four to five, completely fucking different show. Yeah, 
and then you got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all one show. Like, yeah, we're gonna go into season eleven. And it's gonna be another soft reboot of uh, of the idea of like a whole. Plus, new it's doctor. a whole new different showrunner producer. Yeah, that's what too, I'm saying. So, uh, well, because the same thing happened with five. Yeah, Russell left after four, and in came Moffat. Yeah, Moffat did Matt and Peter, right, and br- made the show his way, which is completely different than the way Russell did. Uh, well, they were they were still relatively close, though. There are no references between the two. Not references, though. but style wise, uh, yeah, stylistic but, wise, they're yeah. almost the same. Yeah, well, I'm from sure what like, I know about from what I've seen about this guy, completely different than the other two. Yeah, so but like it's going to be a very much more like y- you could start watching season eleven. Yeah, and not like you have could. to watch anything else. Yeah. I like, mean, you should. You couldn't. You couldn't go and watch season four. No. You know, like, no, you should watch three or two yeah. or three at least because it's all David, right? Yeah. You could easily, as I've said a hundred times, easily watch 5-1. Yeah. You could easily start oh, in 5 yeah. with Matt and not have to worry anything, anything at all that ever came in the first four seasons. But doesn't as we've matter. learned, Tanit is the best doctor. That's what everyone says. That's whatever. I don't agree with that because I, really I think that. Matt is. I, think I Matt, understand Matt is. why they think Tanit's the best doctor. Matt is, yeah, but, but yeah. I think Matt's the best doctor. Matt, yeah, like 100%. hands down, 100%. I love Matt. Matt yeah. is fucking awesome. You never forget your first doctor. No, and you don't. that's Matt. And that's Matt. <laughs> that's uh, Doctor Who, man. What a show! Like just from us watching that randomness that was on space, the one thing, and it was Matt when it we was watched Matt. it. We were so like, just, "What the fuck is what, this?" Yeah. <laughs> to then going back and watching um, Ash, everything. Ash, what the hell is this like? Ash? Chris. Chris, I don't know, whatever the hell's yeah. last. I was trying to say his last name. So watching Chris's season, mm-hmm. which is like the most British of all hell oh, yeah. shows. It is, the, yeah. It is like, it's not bad, but watching, it's hard because it's Britishy. Mm-hmm. And then watching Tanit take over, you're like, holy shit, Tanit. Gets a little, gets yeah. a little better. Gets a little Yeah. And then near the, the end, it kind of got logged because there was those four like TV movies, movies yeah. that was just like, move on, Tanit. Yeah. Like you want to just go. Yeah. He brought it. Uh, but he like didn't his, se- he didn't do like what should have been a fifth season. He did four mini movies. Yeah. And like two were good. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then, uh, yeah. And then, and then you Matt, have the reboot. Of it's Matt, just, which just like fucking epic. epic. Like I was fucking heartbroken when Matt was like, I'm going to oh, go. Fuck, yeah. We're like, dude, no, yeah, go back. Please. We got, and then we got stuck with this old man. Yeah. Who uh, now I don't want him to leave either. <laughs> and like, so before we close, I, I just, uh, what do you think? I didn't watch the Christmas special. So is Nardwell from the Christmas special? <laughs> I remember him from Matt, though. He was with Matt. I try to. I, yeah, I couldn't remember who this guy was, but was I love him. Matt. He's great. Yeah, I, I, I remember I, seeing him with Matt. I hope we see more of him. Um, uh, so, uh, so yeah. And then if he wasn't with Matt, he was definitely with the with Peter and Claire. Yeah. Like he, he, he this wasn't hit the first time seeing him was this season. No, I no, he's, he's definitely been there he's before. A, yeah. But he was um, cool. I like Yeah, him. he was I'm gonna have to look him up because he was cool. I really liked his character and how he reacted to the doctor yeah. and shit like that. Just trash talking the doctor more yeah. than anyone <laughs> yeah. ever could. No, yeah, he just said things to him. Like, he was like he was like how Pawn talked to Matt. Yeah. And just giving him shit. It was great. Mm-hmm. Um so that being said, uh great season, really slow, like the companions, like the doctor. Moving on forward. Mm -hmm. Now, there's been a bunch of rumors about who's going to play the next Doctor. Mm -hmm. I've we've gotten to the point now where we've seen Tanit go to Matt via past stuff. Yeah, we saw Matt go to Capaldi, and or and the War Doctor between that or whatever. Yeah, I'm now confident in who the BBC decides that I'm going. It's kind of like I I've decided a while ago. Before I react to things, I'm going to wait to see it. Yes. Because, like, there is always that initial backlash of, like, this is, like, it happened to Matt. Mm-hmm. Matt from David was like, this is fucking blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but Matt's awesome. Yeah, and then Matt's Capaldi awesome. had the same thing. They're yeah. Like, oh, they were too old. Why, why yeah. are they going so And he was old? fucking well, awesome. He was fucking incredible. Yeah. Like, and now whoever they get next, barring the one choice I don't want them to make, I am going to give this guy a chance. Mm-hmm. Before I say, it, before I like, stop yeah, I'm gonna watching. watch. It. I'm gonna watch, and I probably episodes. will. I probably will watch episodes before. Oh, of course, yeah. Now, I'm just gonna say something that's going to annoy people, and I don't care. And it's not a sexist thing. I do not want the doctor to be a woman. I, I just, it's, it has nothing to do with like. I don't think a woman could play the part or anything like that. Like, I don't think they're less talented than any male. Whatever. I just think. 
the history, the lineage, what it is, how the show works. I just think it works better as a dude. I think like, I agree. I do. I, I, like, I do. Just based on, like you said, the lineage and the, what the show is and how it works and how it functions, I I don't know if it would work the like same it worked, way. It worked for Missy as the master. It was great. It was she great. was amazing mm-hmm. going from... As it's John Smith, right? His generic ass British name. Yeah, his generic name. Yeah. Yeah, he was great as the master, and then Missy taking over that role, she was amazing yeah. as the master. Mm-hmm. Like, I have no problem with that. I yeah. just think that it is better served as a dude. Mm-hmm. And I just want to point out, not sexist. I think women can do anything. They make great stuff. The highest grossing movie right now is Wonder Woman. <laughs> like, just don't fucking attack me. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, that being said, the front runner, who I think is going to be the doctor, from what I've read on numerous websites, numerous places, is going to be this dude called Chris Masters. Marshall. Marshall. Was it Marshall? That was Ma- oh, it is Marshall. Name. Yeah, Chris, Chris Marshall. Chris Marshall. <laughs> Chris I was thinking Marshall. of Masters still. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Looks like a dude. Looks, Looks like a doctor. Yeah. Kind of. I had, some I had, so after I watched the final episode, I, I went, immediately went to Google. I went and did some digging. Yeah. And then I had seen his name pop up that, and it was, this article was posted a couple days before the finale p- premiered. Okay. Yeah. And in that article, it had mentioned that there was a rumor that he was actually going to appear in the finale. Yeah. And Peter was going to, so you would have seen him change to yeah. Chris, and then Peter was going to fight back and, and hold on to, to be, Peter. That would have been cool. And then maybe play out with one walking up and being like, who the fuck, you know? Yeah. Or however, like, which I thought would have been fucking incredible. Like, out of, oh, yeah, out of left field to just throw in the new yeah. guy without a, without announcing it and yeah. just be like, oh, that was him. Like, hope you were looking. Kind of similar. Like, they kind of did it with Matt, but we already knew Peter had been cast. Yeah. But there's that scene where... Just as Matt dies, we see all the doctors, and then we see Peter. Yeah, in the TARDIS. Yeah, you know, so a kind of kind of a nod like that, where it would have been cool if we we saw that, like, yeah. and not having <laughs> a, a casting release, yeah. like an announcement, uh, would have been so fucking that would have been cool. great. We were talking earlier of that um, because this show is British; it's BBC, um, and it airs over here on BBC America and wherever it hosts it from yeah. the it used to be on, on sci-fi, yeah, and yeah shit so stuff like yeah. that. We, as we research and look into shit, we know our fake websites, like Canadian American. We know what's bullshit. Yeah. We know which sites are fake. fake. With the fucking British sites, we have no goddamn clue because they all look fake as shit. Yeah, the way that they're structured, they all look like fake news sites yeah, that, we I, I cut, d- yeah. that are fake over here. So, like, it, they could all be fake. They could all be real. They could be happy. We have no fucking clue. Yeah. So, we just kind of guess. But, ju- like, the fake sites and all the real sites, it seems like this guy is now the front the runner. The front runner. If Definitely not, had already shot a scene to yeah. be the thing. Yeah. Now, the next front runner, for all intents and purposes, is... Um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Bridge. Uh, and she was endorsed. I don't know who she is, though. I have no idea. Big British person. She was endorsed by Tanit. He said she would be a great doctor. I have no idea who she is. Uh, she's acclaimed actress. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, if she if, is if cast, is, I'll I'm give her the watching. shot. I'm still like, watching it. Yeah, I'm I not going to be like, oh, it's a woman, so yeah, I'll turn I'm it off. I'm still going to watch whatever. But, I'm um, going to watch season 11 or in the Christmas episode either way. Yeah. It's just, I feel like they're going to have to prove to me that. It can be done. Yeah, it can work. Like I'll, I'll, I'll work. watch it. I'm not going to be like one of those because people. it just I'm, look, I'm there, like I just don't know if it could. Yeah, there are a bunch of people online, and they're basically idiots who are like, "It's a woman, I'm done." And I'm like, "Who the fuck? No, like give I it a shot. Yeah, no, you gotta that. you gotta give shit a shot before you turn it off." Yeah, and I, I'm gonna see if it works. One of the other guys who was rumored, there's been I, everyone's always rumored to be the doctor mm-hmm. when they're trying to be the next one, but it was the dude from the IT crowd. Yeah. Um, the dude with the crazy hair. What's his name? The black one. Or yeah, the, other? the black okay. one. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying not to say the black one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know which one you were talking about. Uh, he's rumored. Moss. He, Moss. Moss. Yeah. Okay. Moss was rumored to be it. He hosts some big show over there. Yeah, right he now. does a lot of. Uh, yeah, he's a really funny dude. I think he would be great. Yeah, that would he be would kind of awesome. be like a wackier Matt. Yeah, like somewhere between. I, Matt I and haven't David seen him do stuff. anything serious. Yeah. I don't know if he has, mm-hmm. but. 
but based would, on the IT based crowd, on which the I IT watch crowd, at least once a year. and I've seen other stuff he like little yeah. clips of him yeah, and other he's stuff. Pretty funny. He's hilarious. Yeah, so I think he would make a great doctor. Yeah, that would be awesome. I would uh, totally. And then there was a few other British people who I was like, I don't know you or you or you, but I do know you. But and no. Yeah. But so the two front runners it seems now are the Chris. guy who art of might already be in it and that girl and Chris and Phoebe. Yeah. And then no rumor on like who's going to be their companion. We probably won't know Just that. Just generic too. actress or actor. So that they now cast, you know, here's the think. interesting thing. Because they, they are going to Comic Con. Yep, I just I saw that. I don't know why. If the show had already ended, you would go to Con. Because Doctor Who only went recently with Matt. Matt was the first one to cr- come here. Yeah. So why are you going after your finale has already ended? Do you think they show the new Doctor as well as a trailer for the Christmas I'm, special? They are filming the Christmas one, so they, there's probably footage. But for the do Christmas. you think we see the new Doctor at Comic Con? Because if there was any place to announce it, it you could do it. There. It would be Comic Con. It could be Con. Yeah. Like last time they did it. What did they do? They they, they did, did it on some British a, a show. big special. Yeah, and they did a whole special yeah. for it. And stuff now like that. I think your best bet would be to do it at Con, and I can't see why they wouldn't, especially since like your show's not on so they for can't. a long time, like December. Yeah, just Christmas. Yeah, this show literally airs on Christmas, probably at like seven Christmas ten, day. Yeah. because for some reason their shows start at seven ten. Yeah, Christmas like, day at like probably eight or seven o'clock. 7.10. Yeah, 7.10. They never so, start on the dot. I don't so know why. It, it's possible that the new Doctor could be... Like, they do their panel, weeks. and they're like, oh, by the way, here is... Like he's, the new Doctor has to be filming his scene to regenerate from Yeah, he's, he's in the... Like, he's they've in, already he's said he's going show. to regenerate into in the, the new guy in the special. In the Christmas show. So, so we'll, like, we'll see who it is. Yeah. He, so, like, they have to know who he is. Yeah. So it makes sense... But, like, at, at this point um, last year, or whenever they did the last one, we knew who it was. I don't remember. I don't remember. We knew for a long time that he was taking over. I don't remember what the whole timeline. Because it was very... It was similar in the idea that, like, it was Christmas when Matt died. Yeah. And then Peter was... But I don't know when it was announced that I Peter think f- took I, over. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure it was we knew for a long time who was taking over. Mm-hmm. This time, like, they're kind of kind of close, really. Yeah. But I... I I could be wrong, but my prediction is they announce it at con. It makes sense because you 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 have the point of I don't, they or else to, why go? Filmed. Yeah, and you're already filming. You're literally filming yeah. the last you show could with put, Peter right you now. You could put out a thing in like September for a trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, why else go? You didn't announce it last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you went what to you, con, but the go? season was still and on. Peter's going. What's he going to talk about? His next st- yeah, like so, like you know, so yeah, like. It's quite possible that I honestly think there. they will. I don't see why you would go if not. Why? Why pass the pass off yeah. the opportunity? Your show at that point had been off for a month, about three weeks, and your DVD yeah. probably won't come out until September. Yeah, there is no point for you being at con mm-hmm. unless you're announcing who. Unless the next you're announcing the next doctor, makes sense. Yeah, that's. I can't see any other reason why you mm-hmm. would go. Like when I saw that they announced they were going, and I'm like. Okay, we're gonna find out. Comic Con's gonna be huge this year. I think. I think we're gonna. Get a lot oh, it's gonna be fucking yeah. massive. Not just like you got all the Marvel Legacy stuff being announced, mm-hmm. all the big movies that are gonna be announced. Possibly a new. Um, movie. yeah, mm-hmm. like it's, it's gonna, be, gonna huge. be huge. I think. Huge. I think. <laughs> um, my prediction is we will see. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll save it. I think we should do a, because we will tape that Friday do a prediction uh, show what do we think will be at calm what they show so do it before do it before and then do a video saying hey here's what we got wrong here what we got right okay because we're gonna have to do more videos than just the podcast because there's going to be a shit ton of news it, mm-hmm. it'll probably be like our e3 thing yeah where there was a we'll throw up a video every yeah, yeah. so we'll, often. we'll work out yeah. something but uh, um, yeah so we will do an e or not e3 <laughs> we will do a comic-con prediction show Mm-hmm. Um. So, I believe I think that's it. That'll wrap us up because yeah. we kind of just rambled for the last ten minutes there. Yeah. But um, yeah. So this has been talking bull. Uh, remember there may not be an episode next week. Um, Spider Man reacts will be delayed. It may come at some point. Um, 
I'll Thanks. write a review on Twitter. Yeah, we will write a review on Twitter. Maybe we'll post one on Facebook, a little longer form, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But um, uh, I would like we to do, thank we you. We could try Facebook Live. Yeah, we could. We could live stream the Facebook. Yeah, we could do that. We, we, yeah. we, we could try live Facebook Live for yeah. like a five minute re review. Yeah, and you could tune in and yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll yeah, do we'll, something. We'll figure we'll out something. Out. something. We'll, we'll try something. We, we keep wanting to try new things and then just don't implement them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At some point, we will. We, we get around to it eventually. Mm -hmm. But uh, so. So that was talking. That bowl. was talking poll. <laughs> Comment, <laughs> like, follow, subscribe. See you. See you. Bye.